Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at the Oakley Vigor Pack. Uh, I actually thought I did a review on this bag um, a while back because I've been carrying it for about a year and going through my videos I noticed that I hadn't showed it yet so I wanted to go ahead and post this video because I think this bag is really awesome. This has been my go-to bag whenever I want something lightweight, something simple, something easy to carry around. Uh, it doesn't scream overly tactical but it still has a lot of really awesome features that allow me to distribute my gear, make it comfortable to carry. Uh, again, this is what Oakley would consider a day pack. so. Um, if you're looking for something that's good for EDC purposes, day in and day out, or if you're looking for something to go hiking, like maybe one or two days or something like that, uh, this bag is definitely suited for that. Uh, as you can see, this one is available in black and is also available in Coyote and Worn Olive. Now, I'm not sure if it's still available in stores, but I know for a fact they still do have the 2.0 version on the Oakley Standard Issue site. So if you're able to purchase from there, you can go ahead and check it out there. Now, we'll go ahead and look at the bag overall, um, just starting from the outside and then working our way inside. I'll show you a couple of the things that I normally would carry in here and how well it does at that. So st starting at the very top, you have a grab handle here. Now, uh, this is one of the things that I wish they would have uh, invested a little bit more time in, uh, just because uh, I do find that I use grab handles on my backpacks quite often especially if I have it sitting like in the back seat and I grab it out of there um, it looks like they just went with a little um, piece of nylon there it is doubled over in the middle but it is kind of small my hand barely fits in there so again um, that's one of the cons that I would give to the bag but if you're not using the grab handle that much it's nice and small and it tucks out of the way very very easily the zippers on these are all YKK zippers and the tracks are actually inverted which is really nice because it further adds to the waterproofing that the bag will offer it also um, allow or won't allow any dirt or dust or anything like that to get into the bag which is really nice on the two main zippers here you do have uh, these little rubber inserts which are really nice because they kind of keep the zippers out like this and make them really easy to grab you can put your finger in there and run them through the track open up the bag and stuff like that and they move really really nice on that track uh, in the front of the bag right here, you do have the Oakley icon right there, and then you have the word Oakley on the side right here. Again, um, it is not overly plastered all over the place, so if you want to keep a low profile, uh, it's doing a really good job at that. You also have some shock cord right here in the front, which allow you to carry different things out there. So if you have like a jacket or something like that, you can throw it in there and you have the little cinch tab right here. Now, one thing that I really did like that they added is they added this um, little pocket in the front right here. And I'm not exactly sure if this is specifically for this, but the um, extra length of the shock cord, which normally would be hanging or dangling around in most backpacks, you can actually just kind of feed it in there and it's out of the way, it's not gonna snag on anything and you're good to go. Also, if you have something that's maybe more narrow and a little longer, you can still feed that right through there as well and it'll give it, um, you know, it won't be bouncing around. Uh, again, if, it's, if you have something a little bit longer, you can uh, feed it through there also. So um, turning the bag around, looking at the straps, the straps are nice and padded. Um, they're very, very comfortable. And also the back portion of the bag is really, really padded. Uh, you do have the channels right here, which allow for airflow. So your bag, your back won't get too sweaty, which is really nice. You have the uh, Oakley icon right there. And you also have it right here on one of the straps too. Uh, you have a chest strap here, which has a built-in whistle on the buckle. That's really cool, again, for signaling and stuff like that. Uh, you can go ahead and buckle that and you can actually move this up and down so depending on fit you can adjust that for it uh, you also have a built-in uh, waist strap with a couple rows of uh, what i would consider molly so if you want to attach different pouches or something like that to it you can go ahead and do that now um, it is not removable and uh, that's another thing I wish they would have done. Uh, because I don't really use waist straps on my bags, um, I always have to kind of push these out of the way when I go to put the bag on. And uh, you know, as long as I do that, they're not gonna get in the way, but for the most part, they're just kind of flap on the side there. If they would be able to um, make these removable, then that would be better. I can take them off or put them on wherever I need them. But again, that's more of a personal preference. Uh, you do have some elastic webbing up here and that's uh, so you can uh, attach other accessories or if you wanna hang your glasses or something like that from there, you can go ahead and do that. So 
Turning back around to the front, we'll take a look at some of the different compartments. Uh, starting at the very front here, you have two pockets. And what's really cool about these is that um, they're actually individual. So on most bags, you would find that this is one compartment and then you can kind of get into it from either side. This one is actually two compartments. So as you zip down on that, you can uh, have access to any gear that you have here. I just have a, um, a charging cable for my phone. And then on the other side, you can go ahead and access. And that's actually behind the main the first pocket and um, in there I just have a little battery bank that I just throw in there for quick access so those are really cool because again you do have independent pockets uh, they kind of blend really nicely with the um, the color of the bag too so um, they're very unassuming on either side you do have these uh, mesh pockets with elastic on the top so they will fit uh, different size water bottles or different size items right now on this one I just have uh, this uh, stable cam um, monopod uh, you know so you can uh, put your phone on there if it's very, very easily there and then you have this little cinch strap which actually holds it in place and then on the other side I just have a, a water bottle in there as well again this one is a little bit taller as you guys can see it fits it very nicely and the strap is doing a good job at keeping it in place uh, towards the bottom you do have a reinforcement on the bottom part of the pack so again if you do set it down you're not going to have to worry about um, it if it gets wet you know anything on the inside of the actual bag getting wet the two front pockets there do have drainage holes also so if you do put something in there that's wet or, or moist or something like that uh, you will be able to um, air that out and you're not going to have to worry about it stinking or anything like that now one of the uh, really cool features about this bag is that it has um, a hydro free rain cover so again if you're looking at this bag for um, maybe like doing a day hike or something like that on the bottom of the bag right here it has a separate little pocket and it's actually uh, velcroed in there and what it is it's a uh, basically a rain flap that'll come up and uh, you, you'll be able to cover the bag with. I'm not gonna show you that right now. I wanna go through the rest of the pockets. What I'll do is later on in the video, I'll put it on there and I'll show you guys what that looks like, so. All right, let's get into some of the pockets. The uh, top pocket right here is what they called a micro bag lined eyewear pocket. It is a rather large eyewear pocket from my experience with some other bags, which is really nice because again, if you do need to fit other things besides eyewear, uh, maybe like a phone or something like that, that you want um, to, to keep protected from scratches or anything like that, this is kind of like a fleeced lined pocket. Right now, I just have my... Um, eyewear in there this is my prescription eyewear and as you guys can see it fits in there if i wanted to fit two or three other models i can go ahead and do that too this might actually even fit uh, some of the larger frame glasses or even like a smaller frame goggle you can probably fit that in there um, you can see how far my hand goes in there so really awesome that they went with that oversized pocket for um, the eyewear pocket there uh, getting into the main compartment of the bag and that's this is what i like you don't have you know two or three big compartments you just have your one main compartment and then a couple other external pockets to organize all your gear so getting into the main pocket here you have a couple things um, this bag is set up for uh, hydration bladder so um, it is hydration bladder compatible so you do have a little hook right here that you can go ahead and hang that hydration bladder and then right at the very top here you have uh, where you would pass the hook through it and then using those elastic on the um, on the straps you can go ahead and feed the tube through there and have it right at hand uh, again it is out of the way if you're not using it, it it doesn't impede the use of the bag without it which is really nice so on the very back right here you do have um, your laptop compartment and this is um, expandable so it'll fit up to a 15 inch laptop right now I have my 11 inch MacBook Air and it fits it perfectly uh, because of a really heavy padding in the back uh, you're not gonna have to worry about the um, the laptop getting banged up or anything like that but again this is just kind of like a little sleeve in the front so there is no protection towards the front of the laptop but again depending on what you have in the bag so if you have like clothes or softer items or stuff like that you might not have to worry about it on the flap right here you do have this um, pocket which is uh, see-through so you can see what's in there I just have another little battery bank uh, very easy to see I can uh, see what I have and uh, I can go from there and then you have two uh, pockets built into the outside right here also uh, these are really good to organize your your gear because uh, you can you know just open up the bag and see right in and then you can um, 
kind of section it off so you can have one on one side and one on the other. These are perfect for if you want to carry like extra water bottles or something like that on the inside here or if you have like an umbrella. Um, right now I just have a tripod and that fits in there perfectly. And then I have my little um, first aid kit and the other one. And again, I, that slides in there really easily and I can just grab it and go if I have to get it out of the bag and use it. So those two pockets are perfect for organizing your gear. And then uh, besides that, you just have the main compartment, uh, making sure that you guys can see that in there. Uh, I just have uh, another little compartment here with some extra tools and stuff like that. But for the most part, you have quite a bit of room in there uh, to be able to uh, basically put whatever it is that you need. Again, this bag is uh, more designed as a day pack. So, um, you know, it's just going to be your bare essentials for uh, either EDC purposes or again, if you're doing some hiking or something like that. Uh, a little bit of backpacking you can go ahead and throw some uh, some little items in there and you'll be good to go so that is the inside of the bag what i'm going to do now is i'll go ahead and uh, show you guys how that rain flap works so basically all you have to do is um, go down here to the bottom portion of the bag and then open up that velcro pocket and the cool thing is that the flap is actually attached to the bottom of the bag um, with this little clip right here so this will actually open up. You do have the Oakley icon right there and it is um, elastic. So all you do is just drape it over the bag. Like so. And now you have the rain cover on the bag itself. The only thing that it will be exposed will be your uh, straps right here. So you can go ahead and put it on and wear it. And uh, it'll keep all the items inside of your bag nice and dry. Um, it also dries very, very quickly. You can go ahead and just uh, take it off, um, fold it back up, and then stick it into back into the pocket. And it'll dry, and it'll be out of the way. Again, just kind of fold it up, and feed it into that little pocket. And there you go. Put the Velcro back on, and it's out of the way and you're good to go. What I'll do now is I'll go ahead and turn the camera on, put the bag on so you guys can see what it looks like, and then I'll, I'll show you um, how it carries on a person like me with all the gear that you have on there. All right, guys, I went ahead and threw on the Vigor Pack, cinched on all the straps, made it nice and comfortable. As you guys saw, I carry a lot of gear in there. I have my laptop, all those extra pouches, the water bottles, so it carries a lot of weight. So the bag is doing a really good job at distributing all that weight and make it nice and comfortable to carry. I also have the chest strap on. This brings the straps closer to me, makes it more comfortable. It also has the built-in whistle on here, so if I need it, I can go ahead and unbuckle it, blow on it, and signal for rescue or attention or something like that. You also have the waist straps on here. Again, I don't normally use it on my bags, but if I were to load up the bag with a little bit more weight and I needed a little bit more support, I can go ahead and buckle this in, and it's going to give me that extra support. The bag, it is very comfortable, nice and lightweight. And as you guys can see, even with all that gear on it, it still keeps a nice and sleek form factor. So if you're moving through a crowd, if you're taking public transportation or something like that, this is gonna still allow you to be able to move that without bumping into people and stuff like that. And one of the best features, in my opinion, is that built-in rain flap. Again, this bag can be uh, adapted to multiple usage. So if you're doing like a day hike or something like that, you never know when the weather might change. So having that peace of mind that you can just bring that rain flap out cover the bag up and then all your electronics and everything basically in, in the bag are gonna be protected and kept dry it is really nice. And again, once you're done, you can just roll it back up, stick it into that pocket and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about finding a place for it because it has its, uh, in, its own individual pocket. Again, this is the Vigor Pack uh, available in either black, worn olive or coyote. Uh, there is a 2.0 version out now so uh, if you guys are interested, I would recommend you check it out. Again, this is a great bag that I've been using for uh, over a year as primarily my EDC bag, but it's my go-to bag. Whenever I need a bag that is going to be um, very unassuming, it doesn't attract a lot of attention, very easy to use, and it's lightweight, I can just grab the bag, throw a bunch of stuff in there, throw it on my back and go. The Vigor Pack does a really good job at that. So if you guys are members of the Oakley Standard Issue site, I believe it is available there as well. Obviously, you get a little bit of a reduced price, so I would recommend that you check it out if you're looking for a bag that's gonna fit those needs. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.